So I'm going to go ahead and put some ladders badunk, badunk, on the side of our place. Now let's drop some torches down up here. You see it's already covered itself in snow. Put them on the corners. Over here near where the uh, wall meets. We'll drop one on the corner of the uh, skylight as well to help us provide light to anything that might land on top of it. Because we do have baddies spawning on top of this mountain and they're going to fall down here. But that shouldn't be too bad. That looks good. And one there. I like lots of torches in my home area, so it's nice. We'll just take out a couple more. Why not extend our territory a little bit, huh? Well, don't be there. Don't be down there. Be up there. There we go. Hello? Will there be light? Yes. We're by my other door here. Go back inside where it's safe and warm. Now we do want some torches inside as well so that we can see what's going on in here. I'm going to drop some around this doorway here into the nave. And I'm probably going to drop some in these corners here just to light the room up a bit. That looks nice, doesn't it? I like our new narthex. That's nice. Not really sure what we're going to do with it. Uh, there is enough There is enough space in here for a farm if I wanted to make it into a farm, but building a farm is... There's enough skylight. There's enough of a skylight above us, too, so... I don't know. This might actually be where I decide to put the farm. I suppose we could try. Farming is one of the things I want to do in this in this game, so... You know what? Let's do it. I'm going to make the... Uh, torch holders real fast. Because you want there to be torches above your crops at all times so that they will grow like crazy. But like, basically what I'm going to do is just... I could have just stuck them to the bottom of those, couldn't I? But, well, you have a shovel, don't you? There you go. What you do is you stick torches on the uh, pieces of whatever you want to put in the air. I'm just going to use dirt since it's cheap. And then you just put it over whatever you want to grow. And grow and grow and grow, like your investments and all that shit. Let's see. I oh, used up quite a bit of that wood that we collected, didn't we? We've got our iron here. That's nice. Nice! Very nice! We can use that to make better tools. But I'm reluctant to use a whole lot of it for anything amazing. You basically just do the exact same thing as you did with the stone tools, except you drop uh, iron up there instead. So we'll make some more torches. Some more torches. Bing, bing, bing. There we go, 32 more. That's nice. And I'm going to drop some more dirt out here. So let's go ahead and just go brunk, brunk. And put the torches up here. Boom. That's nice, and that'll keep it nice and bright in here all the time so that the crops grow quickly. Now, let's drop off all our extra crap, and I'll show you guys how to make a farm. Alrighty. The first thing we want to do to make a farm is we need to make something to carry water in. So I'm making a bucket. Yeah, a bucket. And it's going to use up three of my pieces of iron, actually, which is a high price to pay at this point, but it's alright, because we need a bucket. Because we need to be able to get water into our house. So I'm going to make a dash. So I know that there's some water right out here. I'm going to try to swim up this and collect the source block. Yeah, it looks like it's right up there, so this shouldn't be too hard. Basically, when you're in water, you hold down the space bar to swim against the current, or to swim up, in this case. I'm basically just going to try to swim to the top of where this waterfall is coming out of the water. I'm out of the mountain, I mean. And just snatch up the source block. Brook! Got it. Use the right click to grab it with the, the bucket we've got. And you see the water runs back down the mountain, and uh, it's basically going to stop flowing. Because where the source block is... Wow, look at that. Huh. That's pretty cool. What the source block does uh, is generates water. Which is pretty cool. And, uh, need to close this. There we go. So I'm gonna come, uh... Where do I want to put the water? I'm trying to think how I want to do this exactly. Uh, do it in the corner over here. Why not? Alright, so here's how you make an infinite little, uh, pond in your house. Drop some water in one corner of a 2x2 by f of a two by two square. And we're actually gonna need to get a second source block. Now you can grab as many source blocks as you want from an ocean. I just happen to be grabbing mine from waterfalls because they're nearby. 
And honestly, once I create this infinite spawn, if I want to... Yeah, I grabbed it already. Great. Once I create this infinite spawn, if I want to, I can come back and replace those two blocks if I decide I like those waterfalls. But honestly, I usually prefer my man-made work to the nature's beauty, although it is nice to see. So we put one in that corner, and one in this corner. And hooray! So the water stopped flowing, sitting still now. When I grab water from it, it refills. And you can do that as many times as you want. So now I could just dump water in the middle of the floor if I wanted. And it'll flood my house. That's great, isn't it? And I collect it, and it goes away. Now here's something neat. If I drop water at the top of the stairs, it will flow all the way down the stairs, and it's actually kind of cool how it does it. So I'll go up here and just say, um... Yeah, there you go. So you'll see, you'll see it come down the stairs on each level as it makes its way down, and eventually fall all the way down to our mine shaft. Whee! There it goes. If we collect it up, we can follow it as it goes down, as the water uh, stops flowing. But on a cord, and basically the source block is gone, the, w the river just dries up from the from the top down, essentially. And if we swim down here, you'll see water dumping all the way down into our mine shaft. I don't want to get swept up by that, but there it goes, drying up. All the way down. And it fucked up all our torches. Damn it. Did not expect that. God, did it flood the whole... Ooh. Darkness. This is bad. I shouldn't even be going down here. This is stupid. Torch. Did it get rid of all the torches down here? No, thank God. Jeez, I was getting worried. Oh, man. You just have to put the ones that were uh, on the walls on this... Oh, that's a bummer. I can replace them, though. It's not that, that bad to replace torches. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, that's the top. Okay. Alright, well, I replaced them, so we're fine. Okay, cool. But you see what the water does, basically. You see how it behaves. That was the point of that exercise. And what we want to do is get little trenches going here around the edges of our area. I don't want to go in front of any of the doors, so don't, don't get any funny ideas about that. But what we need to do is grab our block of water and put it in each of these squares to get them to... Uh, basically become solid squares. So we just keep grabbing from our infinite source and dropping not on the first one, but on the second one there. And you see it makes the first one become solid. And I can grab from here, drop it there, grab from here, drop it there, grab from here, drop it at the end. Then we have a solid little block of water inside our house now. So now I can plant crops near this and they'll be able to grow because they will have water. Hooray! Dig some more trenches. Let's get the dirt out of there. I don't like having random pieces of stuff floating around in my house. And we'll use our bucket to fill all this shit in. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so how do I want to do this exactly? Alright, so basically what we need to do is get our hoe out. I'm just going to hoe like crazy, yo. Right click on the ground. And you'll see occasionally these little green things will pop out. If I can get some to up here. But we need a lot of them, actually. There's some right there. That's seeds. And if we can plant those to make crops. Hooray! Basically, the only thing you can farm is a... Uh, that was a wooden pick, so it ran away. Or it ran out pretty quickly. Uh, the only thing you really can farm is, I think, wheat or barley. I'm not sure exactly which one it is or if they're the same thing or what. But what you can make with it is bread. And it restores your health just like meat does. And so it's fairly uh, neat to be able to grow something that's replenishable that you can, you know, farm as much as you want of and just be able to restore your health at any time you really want if you've farmed enough wheat to make your bread. Just gotta make a living, you know? So I got 12 pieces of seed right now. And you see how the grass, or some of the ground has turned uh, dark? And it doesn't look like a normal dirt, does it? See, so if I dig this up, plunk, it just, I put the dirt back. See how it looks like? Once I hoe it, it's these lines on it. That says it's tilled soil. It's basically just usable, uh, what would you call it? It's usable soil, basically. It's it's become farmland rather than just dirt. I'm going to plant seeds along the water line here. That's nice. Just like that. That's our 12 seeds. That's all we've got for right now. We'll get more when we harvest our first crop. But so basically what we want to do now is just uh, wait. And you see how some of the soil has become darker? 
That's good. That means it's getting fertilized and it's becoming uh, moistened by the water, which is a very good thing. Oh, my seeds back. Damn it, I didn't get my seeds back. Shit. Oh well, we have 11 then, I guess. Damn. But you see, it's all right next to the water, and it's got sunlight and torch light coming down in, so it should grow over time. And we'll come back and harvest it before too long, and I'll do the second half of this tutorial, which would, of course, be harvesting your crops and getting the benefit of everything. So yeah, let's see, what's next? We dug down into the shaft, we found iron. Um, let's see, what else have we not, what have we not built that I said we should build? We have quite a bit of stone. How much is that? 18? We're almost there. We'll do a little bit more mining and then we'll come back to work on this stuff. But right now, I'm actually going to make a bit more glass, if I can. Because uh, I have something really cool that I want to do with the glass I'm making. And so we'll make some more of that. And I'll show you uh, quite shortly, actually, what we're going to do with the glass. But that same project I'm going to do with the glass requires a lot of wood. And so, actually, I need to get my I need to get the proper tools before I head out on my little expedition here. So, hang on one second. All right, I have everything I need right now. Got my sword. We're going to make a trip back to the uh, tree farm and see if our trees have grown into beautiful, uh, tall trees that are going to give us lots of wood, which would be nice. I don't know if they've had enough time in game to grow yet, but we'll see. Look and see. We're not that far from our spawn point, which is nice. So, yes, I think that it worked. <laughs> How about you guys? I don't know. Do you notice any uh, trees that weren't here before? I uh, I don't know. This is a little tricky. God damn, that thing is enormous. I have never seen a tree that large. Holy crap. I, I would feel bad cutting that down. That's just really cool. My God. God, look at this place. This is much more successful than I ever imagined this would be. Look at that thing. And that one just grew. I just saw it grow. I think it did, at least. Or maybe I just, you know, seeing things. But god damn, I planted, like, a shitload of trees right next to each other. And, like, you see, some of them are still saplings. And other ones have just, like, grown like crazy, including this guy, which is just becoming this huge thing. Jeez, man. Hey, let me out of here, will ya? Eh. Me out. There we go. Yeah, some of these saplings are still down here in the mud. So I don't know whether I should harvest the big one or, or all the little ones or what. Let's go for the small trees because, uh, well, actually, I mean, I'm, I'm going to need a lot of wood, and so I might as well go for the tall ones. As as much of, you know, as bad as I would feel cutting down a tree this awesome in real life. This is a gold mine in Minecraft, and so. I really should go after it. Let's hop up in this tree. I'm going to climb my way up using some dirt. Just drop the dirt underneath us. And I look back up and mine, or chop out some more wood here. Just chop as many of these squares as I can reach, and then I'll go a little higher. Ah, oh, my axe broke. That's going to make this take longer. I have enough wood to make a workbench. Let's make a workbench and put it next to our uh, spawning shelter be good to have one out here anyway. Let's go ahead and get rid of the dirt. And we'll make a workbench instead. Grab all of these up, one in each slot. Workbench. Ba ding Now I can make six. Thank you. Ba -dum, ba -dum. And all I have is wood, so I'm just gonna have to make a wooden axe. Which is fine, I guess. I can make a bunch of them. Still gonna go, they're going to burn through pretty quickly. They'll run out without a whole lot of use. Probably want to go find some stone to make a stone tool in a little bit. It's not a really high priority, you know. The wooden axe is not that much slower than the uh, stone one, so no big rush. But I'm going to go ahead and kill this magnificent tree, unfortunately. Honestly, I could leave like just enough wood up in the treetops to keep the canopy up here if I wanted to. That would actually be kind of cool, but like I say, it's a renewable resource. You can grow basically as many trees as you want. If you do what I did and plant a bunch of them near water, near a good water source, you can get uh, quite a bit of trees to grow. And you can actually do some pretty neat things. I can't quite reach that one there. 
But, I mean, if I... It's not really that much of a loss if I cut this tree down, because I should be able to grow another one just like it, hopefully. Again, tomorrow. This only took like a day to grow, I think. Which is crazy when you think about it, but... Oh well. Come on, get out of my way. Tell me I can't reach that shit. Seriously? I'm about to be, like, climbing inside this tree's branches and shit. <laughs> How cool would it be if I built a house inside a tree? Oh, gosh. I feel like I'd have to grow a pretty magnificent tree to do that. I don't know, if I get another one like this, maybe I'll just build a house up in it. It'd be kind of cool.